Greetings, everyone. This is Corey with Camera Coach, and I'm here with another episode of Behind the Lens. Right, if you're familiar, uh, not familiar with this series, uh, then this is just a quick dive into the details behind a photo from my collection here, something that's just uh, kind of fun for me to look back at some of my old work, right, and even some of my new work, and just uh, talk about kind of what went into making that image. Today's specific image is going to be this guy right here. Um, and so a little background, obviously you can see the BU at the top there. Uh, I had the opportunity a, a little while back, you can see uh, 2020, right, right before the pandemic basically, um, I um, was uh, allowed to come out to a game, a basketball game, for Baylor men's basketball, and, uh, and take some pictures. So uh, that was amazing. It was great. And I definitely want to uh, send a shout out to Mr. Robbie Rogers and say thank you for helping to line that up. And um, so yeah, let's look at what this photo um has to tell us, right? So uh, this was just a quick kind of in the moment shot and was used, I uh, used my iPhone and the wide camera, right? So it's 25 millimeter F1.8. Uh, so the aperture is, is a wide aperture and it's also a wide angle. So wide, wide there. Um, ISO is pretty low. You can see that's uh, 40, right? And uh, the uh, focal length is 28 millimeters. So it's not really like a camera with a, a lens on it. You can zoom. Um, and so if you do digital zoom, you know, we'll talk about that later. It's not quite uh, the best option usually, um, at least excessive zooming, right? And so aperture is, is f1.8, uh, which gives you that blurred effect, right? So you can kind of look at this guy and you see the camera's in focus mostly, right? In the foreground and in the background, you have the blurred uh, thing at the top of the ferrule center the, with the BU on it, right? So that's kind of what the, that that small aperture number allows you to do. Shutter's at one over 30, which is why there might be a little bit of, uh, I, I won't say motion blur there, but like the camera's not as crisp as it could be, uh, just really because the shutter is, is pretty slow. And one over 30 is is something that you, you'll get some camera shake even, uh, just you know, obviously you take your picture, you're gonna move the phone a little bit, um, but overall, uh, still a fun shot. Uh, just a great reminder of, of an opportunity that uh, that I got a few years ago. So if you have any other questions, uh, you can send a cell phone photo, you can send a, an actual camera photo, right? Uh, if you'd like to get some feedback on it, um, just maybe how certain things came into play, why this is blurry, blah, 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 you know, those sort of things. And, um, and so you can find me on social media. Um, Facebook is at photo camera coach and Instagram is camera.coach. You can message through one of those and I'd be glad to return your message and just kind of talk. If you're local to the Waco area, uh, then I'd love to maybe catch up. You can uh, set up a time maybe to come by the office or the studio and we can just talk photography for a little bit. Um, if you're looking for coaching, you know, those are options as well. But uh, just to sit down and talk, I mean, uh, I love doing it. This, this is kind of my thing. So uh, yeah, that's it. If you have um, any other questions, you can feel free to contact us. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I hope you have an amazing day and uh, look forward to another episode. Have a good one. Bye.